Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is a Friday ed edition of Weather 2020. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to do a weather question like we do in every single video, but we're going to look at the weekend weather and then we have severe weather moving in again Monday and Tuesday. So we're going to be uh, discussing that as well. Maybe you can tell I'm sick. Um, I have felt kind of under the weather since Wednesday and I've had this question asked many times this week and so let's address it let's see if we can get a conversation going about it but i've had a lot of people ask me why are so many people been sick this week since the eclipse um i am far from a doctor i have no qualifications as a doctor um i could put a band-aid on you and that's about all i could do um but i've been sick this week i don't know if it's from the eclipse but some people think I, I did a little bit of research on this, and there are a lot of people that actually think that because it's kind of an astrological event, maybe your body's doing some cleansing or something. I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor, but can't say I'm sick. Who knows? So I thought we'd go through that. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know, especially people who are in the medical field. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's Go right into Monday. So this is going to be our hot spots. Monday and Tuesday. Check this out. Anybody in the yellow, that is going to be showing us where we are going to have strong to severe storms. In the orange, that is where we have the higher potential to get severe weather. So uh, if we want to break the areas down, really just west of Dallas, Lawton, Wichita Falls, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Joplin over toward Wichita Chanute. So those are going to be the areas that have the higher potential for severe weather as we get into Monday evening. And then we're going to go through this as well. Now on Tuesday, it starts to shift a little bit farther toward the east. I still think early afternoon storms from Kansas City, Joplin, down through eastern Oklahoma and also parts of Texas. So we're going to have to keep our eyes on that as we go through the next couple days. Of course, it is severe weather season, so um, if you, in the past severe weather, if you've had any damage from severe weather, um, we've had a lot of hail so far this spring, give superior roofing and construction a call. They are a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're local in Joplin, Missouri, 7th and High Street, and uh, if you tell them that you heard about them from me, they will give a percentage to the Christian Hetty Foundation, which, of course, very near and dear to my heart. All right, so let's get back to this severe weather event. Let's jump into Sunday. Sunday's going to be fine. We're going to go all the way into Monday early afternoon. Temperatures into the 70s, a lot of mid and upper level clouds. And what we're going to be watching for is explosive development from Wichita to Oklahoma City and then western Oklahoma. And where those storms develop, most likely we're going to have all modes of severe weather, meaning hail, wind, and tornadoes. So as we get into Monday evening, here we go. Uh, so from western Oklahoma, northern parts of Texas, all the way up kind of along and north of that I-44 corridor, we're going to get storms that really get going. So this is 8 p.m. on Monday, and then a big batch drives east. So here's midnight 1 a.m. early Tuesday morning, we still have strong to severe storms, really from Jeff City through Joplin, Tulsa, and Oklahoma City. So this is what we want to watch very closely as we get into Monday evening. Now let's go into Tuesday, early afternoon. The system, the upper level low still is back across parts of Nebraska and in northern parts of Kansas. So I think from Topeka, Kansas City, Joplin, northwest Arkansas to Texarkana, will most likely get a line of severe storms, and then it drives east into central and eastern Missouri once we get into Tuesday evening. So this is our next big event that we really want to keep our eyes on. As of right now, sorry, I hate being sick. As of right now, not a whole bunch is going on. We have pretty much clear skies across the region. We have a nice ridge of high pressure out across central parts of the Rockies, and as this rolls in, this is going to really warm us up. Very windy over the weekend, and then here's that next storm system sitting in the Pacific Northwest. So let's look at your weekend, because it's going to be pretty nice. Temperatures today near 70, Joplin, 75, Tulsa, 77, Oklahoma City. 
as we get into Saturday morning, not near as cold, mid 50s across the region. And look at Saturday. It looks fantastic. It's going to be very windy. We're going to have winds gusting across the states of Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri of 30 upwards to 40 miles per hour. But check out the temps into the 80s for most of us. On Sunday, we get a lot of mid and upper level clouds that start to roll in, especially late in the day. But look at our temperatures, 89 in Wichita, 88 Oak City, 89 in Dodge City, 86 in Kansas City. Even Memphis is up to 79 degrees. So it really warms up over the weekend. It's going to feel very spring-like across the region. All right, let's look. So warm days, the yellow days, meaning well above average. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we have that system, Monday into Tuesday, uh, a very slight chance Wednesday, and a few showers on Thursday. Um, I didn't put cool days on like Thursday and Friday, but we're teetering with it. Um, if you watch these videos a lot, I, I've always said that the last chance that we could have a frost or a freeze is in the middle of April. And there's some indications that we may drop into the mid-30s on Thursday morning. So that we may get some patchy frost across the region. But after that, that should be it. All right, storm system next Sunday and Monday, the 21st, 22nd. And then again, rolling in the 26th and 27th and a severe threat on the 28th of April. As we look into May, severe threats 5th and 6th and then 8th and 9th. And then 14th and 15th. So uh, not a ton of events, not meaning like... We're not having severe events each and every day through the spring, but we do have some stronger systems which are going to affect us over the next six or seven weeks. All right, guys, if you have a weather question, leave it in the comment section below. I hope you are enjoying your Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, I'll do a video most likely on Sunday, maybe tomorrow, but most likely on Sunday, and we'll kind of break down the severe weather as we get pretty close to it for Monday and Tuesday. All right, guys, chat soon.